I liked Mondays, at least getting past Sunday, which I associated with hangovers, the 60 minutes clock on TV, and weak lamplight in the living room, and chores, and goodbyes. I often worked weekends and odd hours, but the feeling of having a clean slate made me eager for Mondays. I had the radio on as I drove. The AM station run by a teacher at the high school was mostly Steers football coverage, but also the police blotter, the weather, and occasional local stories reported on by him or his students. The Garnett signal had folded years ago, so besides checking next door and Facebook, or the analog version, hitting up the cafe, there was no other place to get local local news. My breath caught when I heard that a man died as a result of the house fire Saturday night. He'd succumbed to injuries while being airlifted to San Antonio. I nosed into a parking spot near the office, then checked the sheriff's department page on my phone. No names. Smoke in the air had been part of the sticky feeling I'd carried with me all of Sunday. A lingering sense all was not right. I turned the radio off and got out of the bullet, holding tight to the clean slate feel, though that animal part of my brain was lit up again, telling me, run. McIntyre Investigations was on the second story of a red brick building right on the square. Garnett is the county seat, and its square, statue of a vaquero on horseback, trim lawn, a century-old courthouse built of limestone, quarried in the hill country, was at the center of town, a place that after living in Garnett nearly all my life, still impressed upon me a feeling of stateliness and order. Sudden beauty, even. Our office was as old as the courthouse, but was in sad need of a paint job, among other repairs. The warped door was stuck, and I jiggled the handle back and forth a few times before it swung open, morning light from the leaded glass windows splashing into the hallway.